in the first module, we start with uh, looking at what emotional embodiment is in four simple steps. And then we look at what the possible benefits are. We have experienced them not only empirically, but we'll give look at clinical examples of different types of um, situations in which emotional embodiment has brought quick and uh, better outcomes. But we'll also look at the science behind the emotional embodiment. That is, uh, what findings do we have in clinical psychology, cognitive psychology, neuroscience, body psychotherapy, and in energy psychology, the findings that actually uh, theoretically do predict how emotional embodiment can improve not only emotional outcomes, but also cognitive, behavioral, uh, physical, energetic, relational, and spiritual outcomes. Uh, then we look at different types of emotions, including uh, sensory motor emotions, the always present but often overlooked sensory motor emotions. If uh, we learn how to look for them and support them in people. We can always find emotions to implement the emotional embodiment strategy in every situation that the client has difficulty with that they come to us for help. We then look at uh, how to identify and work with different defenses against emotions, the innate um, psychological, physiological, and energetic defenses against emotions, how to look for them and work, more importantly, work with them. Toward that end, we introduce a model of physical body regulation and a model of energy body regulation. We then start to work with the embodiment emotions by working with defenses uh, in each layer of the physical body as well as energy body. But in this module, we focus more on the physical body. We look at how the musculature of the arms, legs, and the head and the neck areas can generate emotions and defend against them and how to work with them. Now, in, in working with them, many different tools are possible. The tools can be you know, awareness, breath, touch, movement, self-touch by the client, uh, sound, uh, imagery, uh, uh, alt, but also resonance. Um, resonance is a particular uh, tool that we use. Um, uh, we have the ability to communicate with each other electromagnetically and energetically, and using that to, to facilitate emotional embodiment, especially in attachment work, can be very valuable. We look at that. But among the different tools I talked about, we need to look for tools that are of uh, convenience as well as comfort. Uh, ease to both client and the therapist. So very often we end up focusing on self-touch by the client as the most important tool, uh, not so much tracking of body sensations. Let us look at the dates uh, when new training groups are forming in the United States in the year 2019. There is a group forming in Los Angeles, California in April of 2019. The dates of the first module are April 5th to the 8th. And there's another group forming a little later in Austin, Texas in the fall. The dates of the first module are September 19th through the 22nd. Uh, now you can see on the slide the dates of the other two modules in either location, as well as the names of the local coordinators and their email addresses for you to contact in case you're interested in the training. If you need more information or about the training, then you can go to my website, www.integralsomaticpsychology.com, written here. There, you can go to the training schedule section of the website to look at training locations and dates overseas from the year 2019 and beyond. And uh, you can also, to get more information, go to the blog page of my website where I often post short, simple articles on the strategy of emotional embodiment in the integral somatic psychology approach. And I hope that uh, I see you in one of the trainings. Bye.